On the way back from our three-month trip out west, we stayed at Strayhorn Landing near Gore, Oklahoma. It's an Army Corps of Engineer campground and is located on the peninsula on 10 Killer Ferry Lake right next to the Strayhorn Marina. Check out this campground and see why we liked it. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. We only stayed one night, but Strayhorn Landing has a panoramic view of the lake, convenient access to boating, and plenty of opportunities to view wildlife. They open the 1st of March and close at the end of September. You may stay up to 14 nights total at this campground within a rolling 30 days. The cost is $16 a night, and you can get half off if you have the America the Beautiful Senior Discount Card. Strayhorn Landing has 40 campsites, and all are equipped with electric hookups. A few have 50 amp and sewer hookups, but most are 30 amp without sewer hookups. Most sites have water at the sites, but some do not. When you make your reservation at recreation.gov, you'll need to look at the amenities for each site to determine which one you want. The park has flush toilets, hot showers, water hydrants, a swim beach, playground, dump station, boat ramps, and a day use area. A marina with concessions is adjacent to the campground. Of the 10 marinas with concessions located on the lake, most offer boat and jet ski rentals and several have floating restaurants. The lake has 130 miles of shoreline with plenty of wildlife such as deer and turkey. Boating, fishing, water skiing, hiking and swimming are some of the activities enjoyed by the visitors. Amenities include boat ramp, dump station, flush toilets, marina, parking area, playground, showers, swimming. Fishing is good for black bass, white bass, striped bass, crappie and catfish. Once we checked in, we had already chosen Site 39 and reserved it online at recreation.gov. It was 115 feet long. It had 30 amp electrical service. We didn't have water or sewer at our site, but we were only going to be there for one night. You can see that we had an easy drive from the guard shack, just around a loop to pull right in. Pull through was very easy, and we did not need to use our dump station, and we brought our own water with us. So here's a few pictures of our campsite. We were only there for a day, so we didn't take Zippy down to get a full view of all the amenities. But hopefully this will give you a taste for this campground. We would go back here again. Things you need to know. Checkout time is 3 p.m. Check-in time is 6 p.m. You must stop and register at the gate shack upon arrival. We think 6 p.m. check-in is too late, so we actually reserved the night before so we could come in around 1 o'clock the next day. Quiet hours are 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Entrance gates are closed during this time. They don't want you to move firewood and pets must remain restrained on a leash or penned at all times. Pets are not allowed on swim beaches or in the bathrooms. Strayhorn Landing receives a score of 4.4 with over 100 reviews and their mobile coverage is fairly good. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.